there's a bracket, two turns on that bracket on for shifter or a gear change. So two turns there. A couple of turns holding the plate on that's covering this switch. And then two more turns either side of the switch. And that one there, you want to take that one off to get to get this off. That's a 13. I'm just wondering if there's enough room to pull this apart underneath the car and uh, just gently drilling these rivets out. Okay, that came apart nice and easy. Really easy to do underneath the car, no problem. I'm not an expert here, but physically there doesn't look to be anything wrong with that. If you sift it round on the if you shift it around a bit, you might be able to see a little bit of wear right here on the inner one. You just like it's, you might be able to not be able to see it, but it's just very slightly scratched, you know, indentations on it. So it could be that. The other end looks like this. So, and that looks fine. That's got a little bit of crud on it, which you might be able to. Might be able to see that. That's a little bit mucky. My eyes can see the wear and tear on that, but this lens might not pick it up. So it could be, could be a source of a problem. What I've done with these little, uh, little tag things is I've just raised them up very slightly. Just bent them up a little tiny bit. So we'll see what happens. Give it a quick clean up. Next is a uh, bit of grease, dielectric grease that won't conduct. And then rivet it back together and then bolt it back on. One slightly important point. And before taking this thing to bits, I marked on there the position. So I'm going to put it back together again. I can Get it in the right place. So these are four mil by twelve, which do the job. That goes back on that way round. A couple of ten mil bolts that goes on there. And then the plate goes on the top. Next the actuator, that's a couple of tens back there. Uh, last of all, that's 13mm holding that. 